Okay, so this is a hollow body hold. It's a pretty difficult movement. So I'm gonna break it down into a couple different uh, regressions that you can do to eventually work up to the full hollow body hold position. So this is what the hollow body hold looks like. Our arms overhead, and basically your legs and your upper body are gonna come off of the ground while you push your low back into the ground. It's a very core heavy movement. And you would just hold that for as long as prescribed. Now that's pretty tricky, so we're gonna regress it down to make it a little easier. So we're gonna start with the legs straight and we're gonna bring the arms down by the side. You wanna focus on trying to push your low back into the ground. Now, if that's still a challenge, you can always bring your legs up and start here, push your low back into the ground. And we're primarily gonna just focus on the upper body coming off of the ground first. So hands by the side, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up. So you're continuing to push your low back into the ground. You're trying to slide your hands towards your ankles. Try your best not to completely flex your neck. You wanna keep a neutral spine and lift up from your abdominals, and you're just gonna hold that. Okay, so that's progression number one. Progression number two, you're gonna do the same thing with the legs straight. So you're still gonna focus on pushing the low back into the ground, and then pulling your upper body up like this. Right? If that feels good, we can start to progress to lifting up the legs. Now you don't have to lift up the legs directly from the ground. We can start with the legs up like this, and this is gonna help us push our low back into the ground by orienting our pelvis in the proper way. So bring your knees up. The closer your knees are to your chest, the easier it'll be. The further away your legs are, the harder it'll be. So from here, arms by the side, we're gonna crunch up, push the low back into the ground, and you're gonna start to slowly extend your legs. Right. The moment you feel your low back starting to lift up off of the ground, that's where you're going to stop and just hold there. Over time, you're going to be able to go further and further and further and start to bring the legs down while still keeping connection to the ground with your lower back. Ooh, that's tough. All right. And then finally, arms overhead. So you can do any of those progressions that we've worked on, whether it's here, here, or here, working the way down, and then finally into the full hollow body hold. And then long term, we want to be able to just get into the full hollow body hold position from the ground. So you're going to focus on tilting your pelvis and then lifting up just slightly off the ground. You can point your toes and really think about extending your arms overhead. So whatever progression works best for you, you're still going to feel it quite heavily in your abdominals. So just work from there, make sure that it's still challenging enough for you, but not too easy, and then keep working towards more and more progressions.